Um, so what we did was we looked at the National Cancer Database, which is actually um, a database in, within the U.S. that's consistent of a lot of cancer centers that are part of the COC, the Commission of Cancer, um, and endorsed by the American College of Surgeons. So they have a de-identified database uh, that includes uh, looking at urothelial patients and non-urothelial patients. Now we know for bladder cancer that majority of patients will have urothelial rather than non-urothelial subtypes. So non-urothelial subtypes of bladder cancer typically includes adenocarcinoma, squamous cell, sarcomatoid, or neuroendocrine uh, features of um, bladder cancers. So those areas and those patients, unfortunately, are not well represented in a lot of clinical trials. So what we tried to do was examine the trends and analysis for survival for all of these patients. So what we found was urothelial cancers made up over 70,000 patients um, and only about over 5,000 patients made up the non-urothelial cohort. Um, now, median age was probably equivalent between the two. Uh, there were a little bit more African Americans in the non-urothelial cohort. And what we found too was more patients with higher stages, stage three and four, were found in the non-urothelial cohort. Uh, and more importantly, the overall survival, unfortunately, uh, seems to be much worse for the non-urothelial compared to their urothelial cohort. So in summary, I think there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, these are just trends and analysis that we looked at. Um, it certainly recapitulates what we see in practice where a lot more patients have a urothelial carcinoma and a lot of the current therapies we have are geared towards more urothelial carcinomas than non-urothelial carcinomas. And if we're saying that their survival is worse, then more treatment options, you know, have to be investigated.